It all started with a beautiful white French linen tablecloth. I was going for a rustic French country look. The sun was shining and the leaves were falling, so this influenced my colour choices. I polished the table and laid the white linen tablecloth. I then used my full coloured runner just as the base for the table setting. I then began the layering. First came the vases. I used four leaves, wheat stems, touches of lavender and white peonies. Plus, for the centre arrangement, I added gilded pheasant feathers. I gathered leaves from the garden and placed them on the runner. Then I added a couple of turkeys, one gold and the other made from raffia to give contrast. Velvet pumpkins were added along the leaves and candles and bird themed salt and peppers complete the centre runner. I mixed and matched the dinnerware again to contrast with the white tablecloth. I added gold coloured cutlery and gold napkins simply folded on the plate with a bread plate placed on top. In the brass candlesticks I placed golden oak coloured waxed candles and put a cut glass wine goblet and an etched water glass at each setting. The look I achieved was casual, rustic and elegant. As I set the table, I was mindful of each person's view while sitting. So I tried to make sure that every setting had something pretty to look at. So everyone had a view of the candles, of the leaves, of the floral arrangements and the pumpkins. So not only were you having a lovely view of the table, but also the guest opposite you. You can see the candles blowing wildly. Um, it was such a warm day while I was setting the table that I actually had to put the window air conditioner on. So when I said it was a beautiful fall day, I wasn't joking.
for something very very special this special delivery as I call it my Downton Abbey moment uh, family had just returned from the UK and surprised me with this lovely bag of goodies uh, the company anyone who doesn't know was founded in 1707 in St James Market in London um, and it claims to be the inventor of the Scotch egg um, it's a very upmarket department store uh, with its flagship store at 181 Piccadilly, London. Um, it was founded as a grocery store and grew rapidly through the Victorian era. Um, its focus was to stock a variety of exotic and specialty items, uh, also basic provisions. And if you ever are in London, you should honestly don't, don't ever miss a chance to visiting uh, Fortnum and Mason is the most amazing store ever. I think it's got four or five floors of just, it's just unbelievable. Um, it's especially known for its hampers, uh, originally made in the 19, uh, the 1730s, sorry, uh, for the upper classes, uh, the customers who were journeying to their country estates. Um, Queen Victoria gave the first royal warrant and the royal family is known to use the baskets when traveling to Balmoral for Christmas. Um, Charles Dickens is also a very, very famous patron and is known to have used their picnic hampers on several occasions. Let me know if you would like me to expand on this video. Um, I could absolutely go into the history of Fortnum and Masons. It's, it's a really interesting history. Um, it's had its ups and its downs. And uh, like I said, its connection to the royal family is, uh, well, it's synonymous. So let me know if you'd like me to uh, make a, a video just about Fortnum and Masons. And, um, I would I would really like to do that as like I said it's it's a very interesting story and it's uh, tied into the upper classes and the, the British aristocracy this particular book was uh, an absolute bonus um, it's written by Tom Parker Bowles, who is the son of Camilla Parker Bowles, who is now the uh, married to Prince Charles. So she will be a future queen. Um, and I know over the years there's been a lot of controversy over her. But um, 
he's uh, he's written this book he's a food critic in the uk and uh, it's just a delight it's um i'll give you a quick run through of you know it's recipes it's history it's uh, a lot of the stuff that they sell in their store you know which has been sourced from around the world and is you know supposed to be the top quality it is just a lovely little book <music> If you're interested in checking out the hampers, um, I will give you a link to the website. Um, they do specialise in very high quality, high end um, items in the hampers and they do ship all over the world. Um, I received one last Christmas as again specialising in Christmas hampers, but they do Halloween, they do special occasions, they do wedding parties, they do tea drinkers, you know, champagne, It's they have everything so um i will put the link as i said and, and you can check out the uh, hamper situation so i know it's it's my dearest wish at christmas to get a really big hamper with the uh, uh with all the goodies in i think it would absolutely be just it would be a terrific thing for a christmas gift mm -hmm. 